I want to show you something that you can achieve using the Oxys DI output um, when you are doing either its presentations or you're projecting to a screen or you're connecting to TV screens. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post new videos. So in my previous video, I showed you how to connect the Blackmagic Atom HD to the web presenter and also how you can use that for live stream. The Blackmagic Atom HD uh, outputs are all SDI. So let's say if you need to connect to a HDMI device such as this TV, you'll need to use a converter and in this case it will be from sdi to hdmi because the tv uses the hdmi so the source from the atom hd will be sdi so you can just use a simple sdi cable from the atom hd connect it to uh, a converter such as this and then the conversion happens where you can have hdmi in into the the tv screen but i want to show you something that you can achieve using the Oxys DI output um, when you're doing either its presentations or you're projecting to a screen or you're connecting to TV screens. So what I'm using is the Blackmagic Design Micro Converter SDI to HDMI. So with this, uh, it has the SDI input, uh, we have the SDI loop out, uh, we have the HDMI out, uh, that's the HDMI out and we have the power. Uh, you can use uh, a normal phone charger uh, or, or even a power bank to power it. Uh, so what we do is from the aux we can connect it to the SDI in and then we use a HDMI cable from the HDMI out uh, to connect it to the TV and then we power it either with a phone charger um, that that comes the USB phone charger and that's how we get the the feed from the black magic atom HD to to the TV because the black magic atom HD outputs are all SDI that's something you should note so the aux is one port that helps you control what what goes out if you launch the atom software control you'll see um here they have the menu option of the auxiliary so you can choose what you want to be seen on a particular device that gets the feed from the aux from the aux port so let's connect this and get the tv back on so to the sdi cable from the aux i'm connecting the the SDI cable from the aux to the SDI in port of the uh, converter then we have a HDMI cable and here I'm using just a simple chip uh, power bank and that's all the connection you need and you see uh, we have our feedback on that's just how to connect um, a screen using the the aux the aux port so as you can see here my laptop is connected to the black magic atom hd using a simple hdmi cable connected to um, the camera the report using hdmi and this is what is being shown on this particular screen here if uh if we can go back to the to the control uh, the atom software control you can see uh, the auxiliary here is set to program and uh, here the program is on camera 3 that's why you can see the feed here but if we were to change the auxiliary to say let's say camera 3 
if I will change um, my output, let's say to camera one, as you can see on this screen, on the screen that has um, the multi view, the camera feed is what is on the preview on the program. But here on this TV that's connected to the aux, we have the feed from the laptop. Uh, that's a video that's playing on loop. So you can see uh, how the the aux can be used to show different uh, different feeds. Uh, let's say even if you are doing a conference and you want uh, the people inside the room to see one thing yet the people are watching it live let's say just uh, giving them a camera feed uh, so that's that's one way of using the aux uh, to have different feeds for uh, different viewers say those in the house and those those watching the live stream here in the aux you can just once you click on this option you can just change the aux options as as you wish it can either be uh, one camera or it can be let's say you want it to be the color bars or you want the aux to be um, a, uh, an image let's say a media player that you've set using the atom software control or anything else or it can just be uh, the preview uh, the preview is my camera there if let's say if let's say we've set the um, the preview to camera one that's what will be seen on the aux if we set the preview to camera three that's what will be seen on the aux or we can just have it as the program so as you change the program and uh, uh, the program either to camera one or camera three you can see it changing on the auxiliary so that's just one way that you can use the aux i hope that this has been helpful uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel uh, like share comment if you have any questions and i'll see you on the next video thank you for watching